Hello, all my beautiful Scorpios. I hope that you guys are having a great day so far. I'm going to be doing a love reading for all of my Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Scorpios. This is going to be for the rest of July. So let's see what's going on for you guys. Okay. What's going on for Scorpio? Also, guys, if this reading resonates, that's awesome. But if it doesn't, it just means it wasn't the reading for you. And you can feel free to check out your Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Those might be more accurate than your actual Sun sign. Or you can check out a combination of all, all three of them. Or all the, yeah, all three or all four. <laughs> Ace of Swords. Mm, somebody, somebody made you really mad, Scorpio. Or somebody kind of, somebody got, has been getting on your nerve lately is what I'm seeing here. Because you're being very, I'm getting this very defensive energy, like don't come near me kind of energy. Um, because I think that. There's going to be a sudden communication happening. Um, there's a lot of communication. I don't know why at the beginning of Leo season, I feel like there's a lot of um, people coming in, communicating people you haven't talked to in a while um, of all the signs. So far, I've seen that. But with you guys in regards, I feel like somebody might be communicating with you or there might be some communication coming in, but I feel like you're just not having it is what I'm seeing here. You're holding up your sword. You're like defending yourself almost like, some of you guys could live, um, you either live near the sea or live near a body of water is what I'm seeing here. Doesn't have to resonate for all. Ace of Cups? What? Guys, we got two aces here on the board. Two aces. That's crazy. Also, red could be significant for you guys. Um, I'm also going to say you could have Virgo in your chart because Virgo also had, or you could be dealing with a Virgo for some. Because Virgo, red was a very significant color for them as well, so... Just going to say you might be dealing with a Virgo or you might have Virgo in your chart. New beginnings. You're looking for something new. You're looking for some something. You're wanting a new start, whether that is with somebody completely new or whether that is with this person. Um, someone new or the person you've been dealing with. Um, you are wanting a fresh start. I'm seeing it's like you're kind of like avoid it. Whoever this person is that you're holding your start up. Whoever's coming in with communication, you're kind of holding up your... You're, you're like very defensive right now. You're like not wanting to deal with it. You're wanting something new is what I'm saying. You're not wanting to look back. You're trying to move forward. Somebody's coming into your energy though because they're thinking about you. Why are the Ace of Swords and Ace of Cups here? Also, um, 111, 11, could be very significant numbers. You might be seeing this um, number quite often for this week or the week and a half that's left of July or going into August. You want something like, you want some, you want some good love in your life. <laughs> you want something like that's going to make you feel really happy and emotional. You're wanting a new start here. You're wanting a new fresh start, a new beginning. Okay. Be very defensive with whoever this is. Okay. Nine of Cups. Ooh, ooh, okay. Okay, I'm seeing there might be a new love offer coming in for you guys. I, okay, I'm seeing this. <laughs> I'm for it. I'm for it, Scorpio. You got somebody coming in for you. You got, it could be a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Um, this could also be your energy as well. Maybe you're um, thinking about talking to this person as well since it's on your side. But I do see there is somebody wanting to come in to you. I mean, <laughs> uh, sorry. They're wanting to come in and um, speak to you, wanting to offer you a love connection and um, on offer a love offer of some sort um there's part of you that is holding your sword up though you being a bit defensive i think there is um this could be somebody completely new because we got the ace of cups here we got the ace of swords here but the ace of swords you're also you're holding you're skeptic. You're skeptic right now of this person. If there's somebody new coming in, you're a bit skeptical of it. Okay, Queen of Wands. This person's energy. Yeah, they got a lot of passion for you. <laughs> I'm just going to say that right now. This person's got a lot of passion. This is a um, very creative energy. This person could be into creative hobbies such as art, drawing, sculpting. I'm also seeing cooking. This person could be a very good cook. So that's pretty awesome because, you know, and I'm also sensing maybe some of you guys like to cook as well. But 
this person I'm definitely seeing they have um they're like a master in so many different um fields like they could be an artist they could be a computer science profession or a profession have a profession in computer science they could be an architect oh, they're just like a, they're about everything I'm seeing that right now they're like they have a few different things that they're really good at and it's also very attractive to you. I'm seeing that you're very attracted to that in them, but they have a lot of passion for you. They're wanting, um, there's a lot that, there's a lot of passion going on between you two, a lot of um, back and forth. Two of swords. Okay, why is the two of swords here for this person? Maybe there's a decision to be made. Ooh. Okay, queen of coins. Or this person just is like, stuck of whether they want um they're stuck in their head right now not sure like how to which direction to go with you maybe because they are sensing the ace of swords with you maybe they are sensing they might be sensing that there's um that you are on the defense that you are a bit um closed off right now because there's like a part of you that is closed off for some reason scorpio but it's because like scorpio is like you guys think so deeply and you think you have like a really big heart and like when people hurt you, it hurts so much. It hurts a lot for you guys. And like um, sometimes it just, it makes you want to close up. It makes you want to be more defense. It makes you want to be on your guard and not give in so easily to people. And so you don't trust everybody. With that being said, you don't trust people because you don't want to be hurt. Again, you're keeping an eye on that. But with the two of swords being here, I do feel like there is this... Um, this decision of whether they should want to like pursue this or not which is kind of weird because they do have a lot of passion for you I'm seeing this person's very passionate and they are wanting something stable but they're trying to figure out if this is really truly like if this is going to work you know they're wondering is this going to work out you know okay I'm going to get clarification for why these cards are here why the two of swords and the queen of coins come up hmm Oh, seven of swords. What the heck? Okay. This person is, um, this, this person, um, they're sneaky. They're a sneaky person. That's what I'm seeing here. They're a bit sneaky. Um, they have sneaky energy. I'm not really liking this energy. I'm not sure if this is somebody that you're dealing with from the past honestly coming through but there's like i'm getting this kind of sneaky energy like sneaking out um not um, being honest and that's why when this person tries to communicate with you again you're just kind of like no i'm not having it you're not having it because you know you found out like the whatever um needed to come out into the open Scorpio came out and you this is like stuff I feel like you already know about it came out into the open like you found out you could have saw a picture with this person and someone else on their social media or you could have found out from a friend that they were talking to somebody else or some or there was just something like or they weren't being honest with you or something. It doesn't necessarily have to be cheating, but they just weren't being honest with you. Or they were doing things behind your back but not telling you what they were doing, not being completely honest. Um, also, cross-watchers, the roles could be vice versa, so just take that into consideration if you're like, that's not me. Um, so, But I do feel this is a past... I'm feeling this is an energy um, of somebody like that you did communicate with in the past. Let's see, um, but you, there is some new love offer coming in. Is what I'm seeing, that's what you want. You want something new. You don't wanna deal with this energy anymore. Yeah, you're tired of fighting it. You're tired of fighting with this person. You don't wanna, you don't wanna go through this and fight with them and have to um, deal with all this because you know that you deserve better. I know that you guys know you deserve better than whatever they're giving you. And so you're just tired of it. You're looking for new opportunities. You're also um, talking a lot with your friends about it. And you're communicating with your friends and asking them for advice. So like what to do because you don't want to make the wrong decision here. You don't want to go back if you know that stuff is happening. Let me get overall outcome. 
So like I'm getting I'm getting the feeling like you could be talking to somebody. There's somebody new that's going to be entering your life or there's like a new energy. You're looking for something new. You're not wanting to go back to this is what I'm seeing. This also could be a completely different energy here with the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands could be this new person that you're talking to. But this person over here is like this past person. Like they both came up into your readings right here because we got a Queen of Wands. We got a Queen of Coins. We got two people coming up into your reading right now. So I feel like there's like these two different people that um, there's somebody that hurts you and there's somebody that you're wanting to open up to. Because I feel like the, the, this one energy here with the Queen of Coins and the Two of Swords, Seven of Swords is like this this person that hurt you in the past. And I'm seeing the Queen of Wands is the person that you're wanting to pursue. There's somebody that this is the person that you are going to meet soon that you could have a future with. Four of Cups. <laughs> you're just like not taking any offers right now I'm seeing you're not taking an offer from this person that if they're gonna um if this person's trying to communicate with you or the person that like betrayed you trying to communicate with you I'm seeing that you're definitely like you're like thinking about it so part of you misses this person but part of you is just like you just don't you don't want to accept it you don't want to um you're not gonna take it I feel like you're not gonna take their offer as much as you kind of like part of you wants to I feel like because part of you misses this person but the part of you is just, another part of you is like you're not going to take it you're not going to accept this type of behavior that this person was putting you through okay oh. can I have another overall outcome between overall come for um Scorpio permit you're going to try to find the way there's your card Oh, that's not your card. That's Virgo. You could be dealing with a Virgo, though, for some. <laughs> Sorry, guys, about that. Um, you could be dealing with a Virgo. I do sense the energy here that you're... You're trying to find your way. You're trying to find... Um, trying to find the light in the situation. Find, find the light at the end of the tunnel, as hard as it is. You are trying to find the inner wisdom from within you to see what you should do. And there's like, your guard is up for a reason because you've been utterly betrayed. And like now anybody new coming in, such as the Queen of Wands, for instance, you're just like scared. You're like scared of this energy, like, because you don't want to be hurt again. I do feel like there's somebody new wanting to enter your life, but because there's Ace of Cups here, but I also feel the Ace of Swords is also um, a symbolism too, of just feeling like not wanting to be hurt not wanting to go through this pain again and and suffer the consequences or suffer the pains that you have to go through. You don't want to get hurt again, Scorpio. And I see that here because I do see whoever this was that um, is coming into communication with you is like somebody that did hurt you and someone that did leave you feel you feeling bruised and feeling like tired and like, but you are going to find light. I feel like you're very strong, Scorpio. And like, you're also, um, you also have a stubborn streak as well, <laughs> being a fixed sign, but you're like, you're gonna like, but the thing is the stubbornness is coming out in a good way because you're like, I'm gonna find the way out of this. I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna, um, move forward and I'm not gonna accept anything less than what I deserve is what I'm seeing here. You do have your guard up. You do feel annoyed by this person. It's like, they're coming back to communicate with you. You're just like, why? Because there's somebody new here with the Queen of Wands I'm seeing that's going to um, really fill up your cup and somebody that wants to give you that true love offer. Not just somebody that's um, going to play games with you is what I'm saying. You don't, you're not about that anymore. You're not about that. You don't want to play games. You want to be the only person that they're seeing and that they have their eye on. So yeah, Scorpio, that's all I have for the rest of this month. Um, I hope it gets better in August. I'll give you guys an update soon. So I will see you guys next time. And I love you guys so much. Bye.